easily happens that when you are taking photos that should have a white background, that the white isn't white. It can end up being, like in this one, very blue or gray or yellowy. So I'm showing a quick fix for that on Photoshop. There's a link also to another video where I'm showing the same thing using GIMP, the free program GIMP. Here I'm using Photoshop CS6, but it, this works the same in, in other versions too. So let's start. I'll put this and this down and using this one first, making it a bit bigger. What you need to have is that your adjustments panel is open. If it isn't, then go to window and open it. And I'm selecting the levels in adjustments. This opens a little bit differently depending on the version you have. There you see these three dropper signs and the bottom one of them is white. So I'm selecting that, clicking on it once, and then I'm simply going on my photo and clicking somewhere where it is supposed to be white. There. This is basically it. This gives you white where it's supposed to be white and at the same time it brightens the rest of the colors on your photo. But let's look at the other two. I'm taking this winter photo now. Snow isn't 100% white. So when you are working on something that isn't completely white, there's something you need to change a bit. I'll click the move tool active there. And then I'm just starting the same as before, selecting levels. But now I'm going to change the white points slightly. And that happens by double-clicking this dropper sign here. And it opens the color picker. And here you see the R, G and B. And they are all 255. That means that it's pure white. Now, snow isn't. So what I'm going to do, I'll change this 255 to 248, for instance. So I'm giving this 248. Tab to the next. 248 and 248. Now here you see that there's a slight difference between the current pure white and the new color. And I'm clicking OK. And now it, it's asking you if you want to save these colors as defaults. You don't because then your white would always not to be white. And now after that, I'm going to the whitest spot, what I think is the lightest here, and click there. And this is how it changes this photo. Then the next one, this one is very yellowy. Now I'm checking again the white. So levels and double click this. Now this photo has been taken on a fairly white table. So I'm putting here 252 for all of these. Accept that and again don't save it so that the next photo would have the same kind of white. And here again I'm looking for the whitest spot. There. And we can see that the background became white and it also brightened the rest of the colors. So this is it. This is something I use myself all the time because I never manage to get the colors just right just using the camera. Hope this will be useful.